Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and I have some new goodies from Jane Davenport, and I cannot wait to use them. Let's go! begin stamping. This is a new stamp set that is uh, from Jane Davenport. I picked it up over at scrapbook.com. I will definitely link it down below along with the rest of the supplies that I use. I'm actually stamping this on a separate sheet of bright white paper and I'm going to trim it out. As I start talking about that though, can we talk about setting aside creative time and how difficult that that can be for to set aside that time for ourselves? And for me, I often run into just this guilt, this guilt that I should be doing something more productive, that I should be, at least if I'm creating, it should be creating something for my family, like a scrapbook or creating cards or something just a little bit more productive. And I run into this struggle the most when I have the urge to art journal. I feel like I get this little voice in the back of my head that is like, this is a little bit of a waste of time. Um, personally, for me, this is just a, a me thing, but I often do these videos for YouTube and they're my least popular videos on YouTube. So I run into this guilt as just maybe like a small business owner, a content creator, just thinking to myself, like, is this a waste of time? Because these videos are not very popular. And I was running into that kind of stumbling block on this particular day. And I thought, you know what? The truth is that art journaling, being creative, having these moments really lights me up. And so I choose um, to do things that inspire me, that really give me life. And sometimes they come out really well. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're not especially remarkable, but even the ones that don't look especially remarkable in the end still bring me so much joy in the process of creating them. And I think it's important. I want to encourage everyone to lean into how you are feeling in the process. Um, and that's really how I'm able to give myself that permission to have this creative time um, that feels a little bit less productive because I'm working in my art journal and it's not something I'm making for anybody else except for just me and leaning into that creative process, um, especially in an art journal, because to me, in my art journal, it feels like the pages just kind of speak to me. And I know that that sounds like touchy feely, doesn't make sense, but it's true. I start with an idea or I start with a supply, something that is um, inspiring me or I just think is beautiful. And then as I go, I feel like it starts to take on a mind of its own. And that doesn't always happen in other projects that I'm doing. And so I just want to encourage each and every one of you to set aside the time to be creative. It doesn't have to be a long period of time. You don't have to have hours and hours in the day. 10 minutes here and there can really do wonders just for your mental health. For me, it is a stress relief to just get out paint and slap it on paper. Um, it, it does a lot to just clear my head and allow me to think a little bit more clearly through things that might be going on. So I think creative time is important in so many ways. And then I also believe that your creativity is like a muscle and the more you use it, the stronger it's going to get. And so I have found that when I'm away from things like art journaling and actually playing with paint and stamps and collage, um, that it takes a little while for it to come back. So I do want to be really intentional this particular year about setting aside time to really work that muscle in some different ways because I think it will show um, some amazing dividends in the end. As you can see, I pulled out all of my collage pieces there to the side. Now I'm going to work on the background. I wanted to do just big 
kind of organic shapes. I chose three colors that were represented in the hair of the main four ladies that I will be using. Um, those are some Jane Davenport collage papers that I also just recently got from scrapbook.com. They are gorgeous. Jane's drawings and paintings always inspire me. And so I wanted to use them as the base and I'm really focusing in on the background and these fun shapes. I thought I went back and forth on whether I wanted to do watercolor or acrylic. I've been really leaning into acrylic lately and I decided I'm just going to keep going with it. I did have to do a few layers on this acrylic just to make it super opaque. It's a little bit more of a translucent acrylic. This is the Liquitex acrylic that I got um, in a Black Friday sale. So I'm doing these really loose shapes in the background, um, putting several coats so they're nice and opaque. And then once that's completely dry, I'm actually going to go around the edges and give it a really defined looking edge with a um, black Sharpie pen. I need to pick up some new paint pens. If you have paint pens that you love, please let me know what they are in the description box below. I'm leaning towards Posca paint pens. Those are what I've used in the past. Mine are just dried up, but it's been quite a while since I've gone looking for a really good paint pen. So if you have like a brand that you love, um, preferably one that comes in a lot of different colors and possibly in some different tip finishes, let me know. I'd love to pick some up and try them here on the channel for you. I'm missing having paint pens in my arsenal for uh, art journaling. And so um, that's something I need to be looking for in the coming months. All right. So I'm adding just that black defined edge to those shapes. And then I have this other collage paper and I thought it would be fun to layer over the top, just some different kind of organic shapes. You can see I'm kind of doing like some smushy amoeba looking circle things. Um, just playing around with different shapes and putting them onto the page. Now here's something else I went back and forth with. Did I want to use collage medium or Mod Podge or anything like that on this page to attach these? I opted not to, and here is why. I wasn't sure how the black would, um, how the black Sharpie would act under the Mod Podge, and then I also wasn't sure about how the stamping would do if I Mod Podge over it. So. That'll be another experiment for another day. I honestly just didn't want to mess with it on this particular day. So all I'm gonna do is just use some sticky adhesive on the back of all of these shapes, including the collage pieces up top. And um, and that seems to have worked just fine. It seems like it's going to hold up. Um, I just trim off the edges. And then for each of these shapes, I'm gonna come back with the black Sharpie as well and define those lines just to kind of continue that pattern throughout. And I, I like it. The collage papers um, are pretty thick. It feels like a pressed paper. I like the texture of it. You can see a little bit of the shapes of the paint from behind coming through, but not a ton, which I kind of like. I'm wondering how that would have changed if I had added a wet medium, like a collage medium over the top. Um, but like I said, that'll be another experiment for another day. All right, once those are there, now I just need to add some adhesive and you can see I'm just using my Tombow. It's coming off pretty easily. I think it's going to work pretty well. I'm going to add my girls here at the bottom right hand corner of the page, kind of like they're just looking up at all of these amoeba blob looking things. I don't know. It doesn't have a spectacular meaning here at the beginning, but I do very much like it. Now, when I put it down, it turns out I put it a little bit too far to the left. So I was super thankful that I was able to still pull it up, scoot it over. Now it fits just fine. And so I can lay it flat. That was one of the pluses of using the Tombow. It did not get too messy. And then I just trim off the edges just like before. And then we're going to add all of our other ladies. Now, why did I do all of these particular ones? Well, I wanted to play with all of these new supplies because I was so excited to um, order them a few weeks ago and I haven't gotten a chance to play with them. And so I just wanted to put them on the page and play with some color. And I'll be honest, when I started this art journaling page, it had been quite a morning. We have construction going on. Um, my daughter had forgotten some things. I had already run up to school once. It was it was just a kind of a crazy busy morning and this was so soothing for me to work on to just really keep it simple as far as collage. I You can tell none of the art techniques that I used. Hello, I just painted big 
uh, circle looking things on the page. I put on some collage pieces. This is not like advanced art 101 or anything. However, it sure did make me feel awesome working on it. And I probably worked on this page for uh, maybe a little bit over an hour and I felt immensely better after the hour was done. All right, so I did my stamped images. I knew I wanted to leave them black and white because I liked the contrast of that with all of the color in the background. Um, I realized I needed one more girl and so I had some more Javen Jane Davenport stamps from the past. This one is called like Giraffe Dreams, I think. Um, and so I'm gonna get this girl and cut her out and put her in one other little blank spot that I had that um, was really calling for someone to someone to fill it. And I like this kind of grouping of girls. To me, it was like a whole group of ladies supporting each other, encouraging each other. And so um, you'll see, I end up titling this at the end. Um, it's us versus the world. So I like the idea of all of these amazing women working together. I think that that's kind of what I have found in this online creative community. I'm always so thankful when um, you guys are able to watch my videos. It still kind of blows my mind that anyone um, would want to watch any of these videos. So that means a lot. And everyone is just so supportive and kind and nice. And I, I couldn't be more thankful for each and every one of you. So you can see I used my little hexy uh, stencil here, traced it with the black Sharpie, and now I'm going to come back with a paint pen. This is one of those Posca paint pens in a light blue, one of the few I have that haven't dried up because I've had these Posca paint pens for a really long time, and I'm going to fill that in. I just like the different pattern. I went back and forth on what color or if I wanted to have these black. I think the light blue is nice because there isn't a light blue yet in the art background that goes with the girl that has the light blue hair so I kind of like how um, that ends up working out so I color all this in light blue I think it's fun to have that random pattern in the background just adding a little bit more interest if you didn't notice in the midst of all that I did drag my hand through blue paint and got it in the purple splotch down there at the left so I'll have to address that and fix that later on now I'm trying to go through my stash in my craft room and I found these sticker Thickers. These are like chipboard alphas and they have glitter on them and uh, they were just calling to be used. So I am using these to pull out my title. Um, I'm going to title this It's Us Versus the World and I'm doing Us Versus World in these glitter letters. So the, I mean, there was glitter everywhere. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the glitter didn't come off. It came off. It's everywhere. It's all over me right now, but worth it for this gorgeous uh, glitter title. So we'll kind of locate this up here um as far as the spacing i wanted it a little bit lower but you'll see in a second it runs into one of my ladies heads and i didn't want to cover up her eye with the letter d i just didn't think that would look good so we end up having to push all of it just a little bit higher which is fine i'm going to use some glue to make sure these stick down these are actually sticky on the back but i wanted to use glue because i don't think the stick would last very long and then I will use a Sharpie to add the word it's and the, and then this art journal page will be done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. And I just want to encourage you to take a little time to be creative. Don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about having to show it to anyone. Do something that really just lights you up inside. And um, trust me, you'll be better off for it in the end. I will link all of the supplies that I ended up using down below so you can check the description box of the video for those links. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Talk about an amazing creative community. Um, it is a group of awesome people that are so supportive of each other, that are encouraging, and it's just an amazing place to be. So I'm so thankful for all my Patreon members. If you want to check out some more about Patreon, you can always find the link for it down in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.